Take your time, baby. Howdy there. Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to give you a little bit of a different video today. It's not going to be tearing apart some guitar, you know, showing how great it sounds. Oh, yeah, we, you know, we've kind of been there, done that, you know. We're going to keep doing that, but, you know, figure I'd show you a few other little things. One of the things that I do and that I've discovered, and I figured out because I'm trying to make this, you know, try to do something that's uh, going to be uh, worth making a video out of, for lack of better words. But we're going to try to take the mystery out of the good old, I'm going to wipe it off here, there we go. Eh, yeah, much better. The good old humbucker pickup, or for that fact, fact of the matter, any pickup. You know, the, 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 basically this is just, you know, a magnet with a wire coming off of it, you know, and the wire and the, when the string vibrates, it creates an electric current in here, which sends a signal down this wire to the, and out of the guitar and into your amp. Okay. And all these, most pickups, you've probably seen people test the strength of the pickup, you know. And you can have anything from, a, you know, a four, you know, sometimes it's even two when you're in between, you know, you're using two pickups, it can be two, three, you know, real low output. Or you can have something that's, you know, 16, 18, you know, I've seen some, some really high output um, pickups. And basically what we're going to kind of show you is how to appropriately set the string height for the strength of your pickup because you can't set the string height the same on a pickup that's uh, uh, you know has as a five as the one that's you know 15 it's just not going to be the same you can't do that you got to put the string height at the appropriate strength for the pickup and that's what we're going to do we're going to show you exactly how we do that so let's go let's let's get on with it all right cool Hey, how we doing, folks? Um, I got a little something I wanted to show you about pickups. <clears throat> uh, this here is just a regular old humbucker pickup, you know. And uh, what we've done is we run these two screws right here, these two posts right here, closest to the camera. We run those right down flush with the with the case. Now, the reason we did that was because. Uh, I want to show you a little something something on uh, the magnetic field. See, uh, each one of these little posts here is a magnet that corresponds to each one of the six strings on your guitar. And they have an effect on the string. As the string is vibrating, the magnetic field you know, has an effect, it picks up, you know, that your string is in the magnetic field, it picks up the electrical, picks up the vibrations, the oscillating of the strings, and turns it into an electrical signal and sends it, you know, to the amp. There you go. Okay? Now, we all know that uh, pickups have different strengths. And, you know, some can be, you know, right around 5, and some can be right around, you know, I've seen ones that are 15, you know. Anyway, this particular pickup right here this humbucker is let's see what's it looking like here over here oh we got it unhooked let's see Let me put our meter right here tell you what we got to get this hooked back up I had it hooked up put that wire in there And this one over here. All right. Come loose. There we go. Okay. This pickup reads about 8.9. So it's not a, you know, it's about a middle of the road pickup, you know? 8.9. Now, 8.9 is going to give you a certain amount of a magnetic field. You know, I mean, 
the, the higher the number, it means the more there is, the more magnetism there is along here. So if there's more magnetism, that means that it's going to have a higher, it's going to be, you know, it's going to affect the string. There's going to more, more, it's coming out of the pickup more. There's more, you know, mag magnetic field. The, the field is larger. It's not a little field down here, you know. It's not a little field down here. It's a big field up here. Okay. I figured out a way to measure this. So that we, I can show you where you should set your pickup height. That's basically what we're trying to do. What we're trying to do is, you see, there's a little magnetic field right off the top of this pickup here. And the, the little particles in it are spinning around like this, like that, you know. And as they're spinning, we want to get that, we want to get that string right in the sweet spot of that magnetic field. Now, the magnetic field, it spins kind of like this, down towards the bottom, real fast. And then at the top of the field, it spins kind of slower like this. What we're trying to do is we're trying to get it right in there. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to, well, I'm going to show you. We're going to measure that and show you exactly how we do that. Now, i got this little setup right here. What this should do is it should put this pickup right about the camera height here okay all right that's just about right now what we're going to do is i'm getting my good old floppy feeler gauge so you can see that it's boing 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 there's nothing to it nothing to it. in fact you barely can't even see it. if you turn it like that you can't even see it okay and we're going to have it turn that way so um Maybe I can do something about that. Let me see if I can. Uh, let me see if I can darken up the edges a little bit. Maybe if I run the marker around the edge of it, it'll show up a little bit better. Hmm. Not really. Well, anyway, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this height gauge right here. It's got a height gauge, string height gauge, and we're gonna put it on. Where are we gonna put it on? Put it on right. So I gotta get something that's gonna go right there. So do do do. Well, I should have. The, oh yeah, there we go. There's my there's my spot. Okay, let's see if we can't back this up a little bit. Can you see that yet? Maybe we'll zoom in. Let's see if we can't get this shot right. So I wanna be able to show you. All right, I think I gotta figure it out here. We gotta wait for my camera to focus. All right, we got it down there. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this feeler gauge here. You can see it coming in there. Okay, and what we're, I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? Oh, there we go. We're dropping it in. We're dropping it in. And what we wanna do is we wanna measure right there where it hits. See that suck it down? See that suck it down? Right there. Now, if you really, 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 really look, maybe I should turn some of that light away. See if that helps. Okay. Now we're coming in. See the gauge, you can see the gauge coming in. Okay. Now we're right at five millimeters. So we go just a, excuse me. We go a little bit below five millimeters there. You can see it hits. Right in there like that. All right, here's my high-tech version of uh, how to show you what a magnetic field looks like. See, this here, this, let me get my pen in there, right? This here is your pickup right here, okay? And right off the top of that pickup, the magnetic field is really strong and fast. Spinning just real like a bit, okay? And then as it gets towards the top of the magnetic field, it loosens up. It gets more, you know, well, less less uh, oscillations, I guess you could say. Less revolutions up here, okay? And that is at the top of it where, where we put our feeler gauge, and it, and it sucked down. 
that was the very top of the magnetic field, which was at about four millimeters. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to get our string right in about you know not half but a little bit above half maybe about three millimeters right through there we don't want it in the real tight tight signal real tight magnetic field we want it sort of in this magnetic field where it's in the magnetic field but it still allows the strings to vibrate it doesn't kill your sustain basically because if your if your string is too far down here it has too much magnetic pull and it's just not going to let it, it's going to slow it down faster, you know what I mean? It's just not going to let it, you know, vibrate as much. Because when you hit the string, it vibrates. And however much magnetic pull you have on that string de depends on how much it's going to vibrate. And, but it also depends on how much signal you're going to get from it too, you know? If it's, if it's way out, it's, you're not going to get anything. So you got to get it closer. You got to get in that magnetic field, right in the little sweet spot where you're going to get, you're, you're kind of sitting on top of this one and just a little bit below this one here you know just kind of you know this is where you want to be right here so that's that's how we determine that well folks I hope that uh, you got a little bit of information out of that uh, video right there I hope that it uh, kind of cleared up some of the mystery of how a pickup works and uh, what's happening there you know, kind of take some of the guesswork out of setting your pickup height. You know, you're basically setting the the or setting the string or you know setting the pickup height to the perfect you know height where you're you know, you know where you're getting in. You're not just guessing about things. You know, um, getting the pickup right, getting the strings right, getting the guitar playing perfectly in tune up and down the neck are the things that make a difference in the complete sound that you have. Um, you know, your amplifier and your pedals and all that other kind of stuff, all that does is, is work with the signal that's coming from your guitar. So your guitar has to be right first. That's the first thing in the signal chain. Well, actually, you know, you, you, you the guitar player, are the first thing in the signal chain. And uh, But the guitar, you know, is what produces all that. And you have to uh, get uh, everything on that right or it's not just not going to produce right you know it has to be in tune all the way you know all the way around uh, it has to be uh, picking up the, the the string vibrations evenly and that's another video right there see we did in this video we determined where the, the string or where the pickup height should be so you can set the height of the pickup next thing next video we're going to show you how to uh, set the pickup up the rest of the way so we get in this real good sweet spot the harmonious spot so uh, that's what we're gonna do on the next video but you know we got a contest going right now where we're giving away some t-shirts so if you want to win a t-shirt you better come on and uh, get uh, subscribed and uh, you know get your comment in there and saying hey you know I subscribed I like to win a t-shirt um, then we're gonna give away some real good stuff after that but we're gonna try to give some information videos, some giveaways, some contests, man, we try and do it all here at Mojo Shop Guitar. So keep an eye out for what's next, all right? And I'm going to say adios for now from Mojo Shop Guitar, baby.